Hello and welcome back to Jack's Office X videos and welcome to the fourth episode of the Just Flight series. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Eurofighter, uh, which is obviously what you're seeing right now. This aircraft comes in 13 liveries, including things like the Royal Air Force, Austrian Air Force, Spanish Air Force, Royal Saudi Air Force, and uh, others. Uh, so this is just going around the aircraft right now, just looking at some of the, uh, just looking close up at the aircraft and the overall look of it. Um, and you can just hear in the background the engine sound different to at the front there, which uh, is quite a good uh, aspect of having on it. So, uh, first thing that I really liked with this aircraft was the animation of the pilot, how he just moves his head uh, every so often, and it's also really good detail on, on the pilot, and it's smooth. it's got smooth animation to it. And obviously the inside of the cockpit there is also really detailed, just like it would be if you're actually in the virtual cockpit. Uh, then just close up on the aircraft here, you can see how detailed it is with really small bits of writing, especially up on the top right there. Uh, and it's got high resolution as well in most places. Not all the places are high. Um, for example, the yellow text there, that isn't as high as it could be, opposed to the text to the right of it. On the back, it's uh, also got a high text resolution. One one thing again was um, it didn't have a high text resolution on that uh, logo, uh, just above the red and blue stripes there. That was also a bit blurry, but not enough to be that noticeable when you're zoomed out. But you still do notice it a bit. Just uh, small things like that, but they're not that uh, that much of an issue really. Um, it's got good detail inside the two engines at the back here, which I did like that they've put that much detail into it. Most people, when they're making aircraft, at most companies, they'll just make it, make it black inside. So it's good how they've done that. The gears are some of the most detailed gears I've ever seen uh, from Just Flight or any other company. Uh, it's really detailed. It's got all the components there. Same for the front here that you can see on the right. And also the landing lights are also really good. They're not just Skangug that you get in a lot of aircraft. These are actually just there seen coming on and off. These are actually uh, slightly different and light up in a good way. Uh, so this is now just the back of the aircraft again. And you can just see that the aircraft is slowly moving forward. And the engine's on 0%. So I've just taken off the parking brake here. And this is what happens. The engine, the sorry, the aircraft just slowly rolls forward which is something that really annoyed me uh, when you're at a gate or something obviously you would have your parking brake on but with the engines on zero uh, you could just expect the aircraft to uh, not be moving um, but that's just what's happened there so it's got really good engine sounds I think uh, all of them seem to be unique and it's got good animation on the engines there obviously as you go up to 100% that only happens though um, once you go above 70% I think it is. Uh, so you can just see here the engine, so the aircraft just rolling across the ground. It can take off actually almost immediately after you put it to 100% but this is just to show you it rolling along the ground and on the ground a little bit more. Uh, take off is smooth, it's really sensitive so, um, so you always have to be cautious of that which is a good thing because it should be like that as most fighter jets or military aircraft, um, usually fighter jets obviously are uh, very sensitive on the controls. So if you just move it, you only have to move it slightly for a normal turn to the left there, or if you move it all the way to the right, it just does some aileron rolls. Um, and it also goes up easily as it should, and can do a loop the loop, obviously, as you can see, which is a uh, all as it should do and it gets up to the right speeds quickly enough and the throttle is all correct. Uh, now that it's flat here, one thing that has really annoyed me with this aircraft uh, is just how it slightly jutters up and down. You can just see there, especially if you look on the, on the right of it, on the front. Uh, you can just see it slowly juttering up and down. This has really annoyed me for the price of the aircraft really. Uh, because it just shouldn't be doing that. It only happens if it's above 25% throttle, I think it is, maybe 20. Uh, but even so, it shouldn't be doing that for uh, an aircraft that's cost cost this amount of money. Even uh, free ones don't even do this. So it's quite annoying when you've spent that money on it to have something so 
uh, annoying that happens all the time really when you're in the air um, so now I'll just move around to the back of the aircraft and you, if you can listen uh, just over my voice you can hear the engine sort of uh, changing uh, tune as I come around to the back just changing uh, volume as well and just changing all together really you can just hear the sound uh, also as you go up and down that that sound uh, I just thought it was quite standard to any other any other aircraft not really had the sound of a fighter jet uh, especially the Eurofighter obviously it just sounded like normal sounds going up and down when you change the throttle but compared to the back of the aircraft to the front of the aircraft uh, you can definitely hear a difference in the engine sounds uh, which I thought was really good so now moving into the cockpit um, really good cockpit really uh, I can't see anything wrong with it because almost all the buttons work it's all readable it's all in a high resolution those two screens do work by the way you just need to uh, press a button on each of them to get that on all the animations work on things like the throttle on the left there which I'll just move in a second and the joystick which you'll also see me move in a second uh, but just moving down here you can see all the buttons on the left and right that they're in a high resolution all of the uh, all of the labels are readable so that's all good and um, yeah like I said nothing wrong with this cockpit as far as I can see uh, once again probably one of the best uh, cockpits that I've seen for things like resolution and uh, detail and there's just the back of the seat there as well uh, not much to show obviously at the back as it's just a one seater aircraft but uh, like, I, like I said all the seat belts in high resolution and things like that uh, gears animation is good no drafting or anything there and uh, it's quite hard to land a fighter jet, at least I find it harder to land one. Uh, just take a bit of practice until you eventually get it. Um, but it's all good anyway. So you can also just see the animation, two animations here. One of the parachute coming out the back, which is the same as reverse thrusters. You have to hold down F2 to activate it. And uh, there's also the speed brake on top of the aircraft that is just going down. And uh, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching episode 4, uh, sorry, episode 5. Episode 6 will be out sometime in the future, not sure when. Uh, so that was the Eurofighter. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs>